Hello friends and once again welcome to BISPSolution.com My name is Amit and uh, today we are going to talk about an interesting scenario from Oracle EDMCS that's called Enterprise Data Management Cloud Service Derived Properties So well, I have, in my current project um, one of my universal application is NetSuite and there is a situation arrive where I need to create two drive properties from one of my property. So let's see the requirement first and then we see how to design this requirement in an ADMCS. So how to use the derived property, this is an objective. Okay. So in a NetSuite application, I have an employee ID, employee email ID, email ID, and employee email ID is something like this, Sharma at bispsolutions.com. Now on from this employee uh, email ID, we need to retrieve employee first name, employee name, and company name. These two are the derived property which uh, to be extracted from employee ID. So this is my requirement. I need to extract this is my employee ID from my email. Now how do you retrieve this? You can use a substring function. I'm going to use a substring function. I'll retrieve the character from first position. Substring function from employee email ID. Well, this is not a syntax. I'm just writing the expression for the sake of your understanding. From position number zero or one till you find the at the rate, right? So before at the rate is the employee name. After at the rate is the name of the company, isn't it? So I'm going to use. How do you know the position of at the rate? Well, you can use the index of function. We'll retrieve the index position of at the rate and it, uh, you know, it will retrieve the employee name. So let's say employee ID zero character is starting from A and the position of at the rate. Let's see what is the position at the rate. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is the 12th position of the, uh, the index of will return 12. So in as a result of this, this expression is going to return in Amit Dosh Sharma. In the same fashion, I like to retrieve um, company name, right? So company name, I again use substring function, but this time it will start from the index position of at the rate plus one, right? Because when I use at the rate, it will start from here two to the length of the string of the string. Well, you can use a length function. Length function of of employee email ID. Again, this is not a syntax. I'm just writing an expression for you for the sake for the easy to understand. Let's get started. I'm going to start right from the beginning. I create step one. I register an application. You know, absolutely from the beginning. Uh, I create one. Step one: create or register uh, universal or custom application. Right. I name it as NetSuite. Okay, let's do this. NetSuite. I'm making a very simple example. This is my universal application. Name is NetSuite. So this is NetSuite custom application. And then I'm going to create a node set for the same and dimension node set. For the sake of simplicity, I'm adding only one dimension called employee. Uh, this is employee dimension. This is hierarchy, it can have shared member. And then I'm going to create node under this employee. So I create just one node called employee. Right. Now under this, I'm going to create three dimension. First, obviously, we have a core. I give a header name as a core. Header name is name, core dot name. Then I'm going to create a dimension called employee email. This is going to be a base email ID. This is going to be my base property. This is string type. I make a note of it. Uh, employee email ID, right? Then I create another property. I keeping all the option default. Second property I create, um, which is also string type. Employee first name, employee name, right? There's a string type, keeping all option default for now. Column header, 
and the second one i'm going to create a company name right employee company an employee company and email employee name will be automatically driven from my email id employee company keeping up all option default and we proceed further so this is base property and these are to be driven from my employee id right that's it so my basic natural application got created and on top of that a view also got created over here default view the same name as application name which is netsuite although i did not load any metadata any dimension it is empty now and similarly you see there are three property would have created under property section uh, property section properties first is employee id employee name and company name so employee name i like to apply this expression this expression employee name Let's see the syntax for this. Okay, so let's start with employee name. This is my property, right? This is derived property. So click on add it. Default property type is none. I make it derived. And then I'm going to write an expression here. So what is our expression? My expression is I like to use a substring function. And I've taken a snapshot over here. I'm using substring function of employee id substring function from 0 to position of at the rate so node dot property dot i use node dot property node dot property dot which property employee email id right i like to say employee email id substring i use substring function so there are a lot of functions substring trunk and i would like to retrieve from index number zero right to to the position of at the rate column index number zero to the position of at the rate so how do i know the position of at the rate therefore i'm going to use an expression over here and i apply an expression called node dot properties node dot property dot employee id dot index of i use index of expression index of index of which character at the rate character so zero till the position of at the rate it will retrieve employee uh, employee name right fine click on apply we test this one first before you proceed further right so i'm going to quickly test this one under view i'm going to create a member and i put employee id and employee name to be retrieved automatically go to net suite uh add create new request create top member right i create top member uh call him um top member called amit right maybe it is a you know node name assume and here i use a employee id amit dot sharma at bsp solutions.com so from this system has automatically retrieved my employee name do you see that so i take a screenshot of it this is my output right and the expression we have written from the whole expression system has taken uh, well this is not visible here uh, probably uh, yeah i move my mouse cursor to the right uh, here see this from here system has taken first characters as a name because use a substring function employee name has taken all the character from first character till the position of at the rate this is my expression i have done it have i taken a screenshot of it okay i'll take a screenshot once again so first name got tested in the same fashion i test the company name employee name the derived property with this expression once again i take a screenshot so that you know we make sure it is correct we define yes it is this is my expression and the outcome is this is the outcome right so i use substring expression substring expression for position number zero 
till the position of index of at the rate. So as a result of this outcome is Amit or Sharma. Now I'm going to do the same thing uh, for company name. Let's do it over here. Company name. So company name will retrieve from at the rate to the last of the string. Okay. So let's create another uh, expression for company name. Search for employee company. Employee company. And then again, I define a derived property. Derived properties. Select the expression. Same thing. I use node dot node dot properties dot employee ID. Uh, yeah, employee email ID dot substring. Now this time I want to start with at the rate, right? I look at the problem over here when I use at the rate. So I use node uh, dot properties dot employee ID index of at the rate till the length of my string length of the string I'll apply so node dot properties the expression is simple you should know the order in which you're supposed to execute this employee email id dot length okay. uh, length right validate this expression take a screenshot validate this expression expression is correct save it and I'm going to use the expression over here so we test it once just when I add a member I'll test it this is my expression let's check the output so similarly I'm going to add new member a top node I go to view add a top node under net suite net suite yes I think I rejected this. I'm going to add new top node. Uh, adding a top node. I give an email ID. I give an employee ID 001. And then I give an email ID amit.sharma bisp solutions.com. See the name and email company name has taken but the problem is that company name is taking with at the rate i would like to eliminate that rate i want the name should be taken company name should be taken from bsp solution not from at the rate so when i use substring function my starting position would be index of plus one substring function starting position would be uh, plus one i add a plus one here this would be a starting position and the end position would be length of the string right and then i would add plus one over here isn't it let's see how to do that so this expression is already written with the flaw limitation it has let's take a screenshot of limitation and we see how to figure it out this is the limitation of my expression I copy and paste here. See, so I am going to add plus one over here, right? Plus one. So that it will take exclude at the rate. Add plus one. Okay, let's see how to do that. I go back to my derived properties. Uh, property section company name employee company look at a derived expression go 
photo expression window and I'll add click on this and then also add what do I have add not here here yes add expression add one apply and now we check the problem resolve or not so I take a screenshot I added plus one as well take a screenshot and then you see a difference between previous expression and new expression you can take a pause and look at the difference between both expressions so now in this expression I added plus one as well isn't it which wasn't there in the past right now let's check the output this is done let's check the outputs again I'm going to create one how oh, did I save it uh, doubt did I save it oh, I forgot to save that mistake save make sure you hit the save button apply save and then close check once again I'm going to add one known top node on the NetSuite and test my output so in addition to development I'm doing unit testing along with that new request once again I add new employee add top node with the new employee IDs employee 001 employee ID I give it over here amit.sharma bhp solutions com see employee name and company name it has extracted automatically right so that's it for today this example we tried with uh, with properties expression similar example I show you node type converter in my next video so that's it for today should you have more question please feel free to reach to bispsolutions.com for any consulting opportunities please reach out to bispsolutions thank you